in time intelligent function the date you are using the date should be unique date and it should not contain the duplicate date instance okay for that how to identify whether the date is unique or it has duplicate values so when you are trying to deal with a time intelligent function and trying to find the total year to date total quarter to date total month to date or whether you are trying to calculate any time function related operations let's say sample sample period last year or previous year or previous month or, or same sorry same period last year so these values you have to find on the basis of the date column and that date column has to pass with a unique value it should not contain the duplicate values the date value should not contain the duplicate values and it should be of unique collection of the date so if there are number of table having uh, let's see if there are number of table having dates in it for example let's say payment date payment table when you go and click on the table view you will see the payment to that and here you see there is one date called payment date with a date called uh, let's see where is the rental date and we have other instance of a date to find just what are the instances of the date you can just type a date column and hit enter so you will find a lot of date values over here then you will be confused to which date column should be used to in related with the time functions a uh, time intelligent function so the first and most important condition to use the column is that column should be unique and it should not hold the duplicate values so what should we do about that then you go to calendar lookup when you go to calendar lookup you will see there are also date there is also a date column present in here and uh, as of now we don't know whether this column also contains the unique value or duplicate value so for sake of understanding uh, the, there is one base column always base table for the calendar or the date related function given in your database uh, which holds the unique values so let's uh, let's consider the calendar lookup is having some dates and we want to find some time intelligent functions uh, using that date column and uh, just to find whether the column in the calendar lookup which contain the unique value or not we can just simply click on here and we can see there is 304 columns and the distinct column are 304 so it means this column is the unique one same for the payment when you go here and click on the payment date you will see there are 16044 rows there are 16044 rows and the distinct value from that is 1500 uh, 15,815 so there is discrepancy in here so this in from the payment table you cannot use the payment days date for your time intelligent function same goes for rental in rental also when I click on the rental date it shows there is the same number of unique uh, and the unique distinct and the unique values present in here So there is one other option where you you can practice with a measure and there are 
two measures you can use to just find the distinct values you can just click anywhere in the table and create a measure and you're gonna use some you, you're gonna use some DAX functions to find there is if there is a discrepancy in distinct values and the unique values which are those functions those functions are one is you just simply count the rows from the table and another is you just simply count the distinct values present in a column let's try to find from the payment payment distinct date count okay i'm giving a big name but you can give whatever you want let's pass the distinct value distinct and it, it it resides in the payment date payment column and uh, in payment date payment date payment table okay when i click hit on this enter you'll see the options right hand right hand side there is a measure created when i simply drag it into a multi card option i'll see the output i'm dragging it into this multi card when i stretch it here i see there is a number 16000 around but i don't know exactly what value does it contain before that just try to find some now we have, we have calculated the distinct values present in the payment date which is it is just just a, a round of figure 16000 but we will change it to a real number just give me a minute create a new measure this time we are going to use the count we, we are counting the total number of rows present in this payment table so what i am trying to find is payment Let's say payment row count. Okay. Total row count. The function is count rows. Okay. It will have one argument called the table name. In this case, we have a payment is our table. I may just hit enter. The measure will be created over here. I am simply dragging this to the same card option. Now I see number okay let let it complete okay in this card you see the both number shows the exactly round of figure but we have to change it to a, a real number what's the real number present in it i'm clicking on this card you just have to format it go here click double click on this call out value the series is it is now i have selected payment date distinct date count when I go down, I see the display option. In here, I can change it to none. I want to display it as a none. Show me the number in real aspect. Okay. Same going for going to change this value also. This time, I'm going to here in uh, call out values. In, I'm going to see the series, select the series called payment row count. For this, also, I'm going to change this from auto to none. Now, you see there is a discrepancy between. But we have seen the payment table we can calculate it by using a measure okay so this means it is the value which contains the duplicate records so these are the distinct values and there are some repeated values in it so this payment table you cannot use for the <coughs> what do you say the time intelligent function same we will now we will check for the calendar lookup same same operation go here click on the create a new measure we will open the formula bar dax functions now i'm trying to calculate the calendar lookup calendar distinct count calendar you can give name whatever you want calendar date distinct count i'm using distinct count function distinct count on the calendar lookup and the date in it you can close this function enter enter see the option 
here right side the new measure is created which is calendar date distinct count okay and same going to have the same operation I'm gonna select the multi card in that multi card I'm gonna drop the values calendar distinct count okay it shows the 304 and I have to calculate the count total records I have to calculate from this calendar lookup table again I'm creating a new measure and let's find the hmm, what is this calendar sorry calendar row count TV. okay count row is my function in that I'm passing the calendar lookup table enter the new measure will be created over here with the total number of records present in the calendar lookup table calendar row count okay. when I drop it here okay it matches exactly it, it is matching exact number it means when you calculate the distinct values from this calendar lookup table it shows 304 values and when you count the total rows present in it it shows the 304 it means each and each record is the unique record present in the calendar lookup so hence we can use the calendar lookup as our time intelligent function let me sh let me show you what happens when i don't use it any any any, any calculation based on the let me see now we try to find the okay let's say total payment okay. total payment we are finding total payment when i drag it here it shows uh, it, it is around 67000 but i want to see the real number present here when i go, go here display unit i just want to see the exact number okay. this is the exact number present here total payment this much is the total payment but when I go and try to find the last year okay, total last year what this function is it, it contains the revenue okay. total YTD uh, payment we will change this what what this the expression is from the total payment here. so we have to pass it total payment and it is calculating from now this time we are using the time intelligent fun, time intelligent function which is calculating the total payment for the last year like y t t year to date this current year me jitna bhi payment hua hai utna calculate hoga yaha pe from the entire payment and this time we are using the payment date column intentionally this should not be used to calculate the time intelligent function we are, we are, we are using intentionally to see what result we gonna see hit enter this measure has been changed total YTD payment okay. payment so this is the last oh, year to date payment okay, for this year when I drag this into this visual card what happens let's see what happens I have not drop it correctly mm. otherwise I can select the directly check mark it will be inserted in here total payment and why can't I click on this let me delete this and let's choose this first okay it shows error when you click on this error error paging data from this visual when you see the details about this error it will say that the payment that you have used is not it contains duplicate values basically here we go Cal calculation error in the major major table year total YTD payment a date column containing duplicate date was specified in the call to function total YTD this is not the this is not supported okay. 
and initially we calculated the total payment let's compare this okay this is the total payment but i don't see here the last year why year to date payment why because we have used in this measure we have used the payment table and payment date as a date function instead we should have used calendar lookup and the date column from it because the calendar lookup date contains the unique values now we see the output over here year to date okay this is showing blank okay okay okay, okay. year to date calendar lookup date I think there is no payment happened in this year so you go mm, mm, mm. it is not showing the error okay you have to date mm -hmm. or we can use uh, some other function year to date instead of using a y t d let's say m t d total month to date MTD payment. Let's try find what happens here. Because मुझे लगता है इसमें last year में कुछ हुआ नहीं होगा रहेगा. But it should have shown some data, right? Something. But it is not showing the error, right? That means the date we have used it is correct only. That that is what I wanted to tell you. ठीक है. So this was it about today. See you in the next lecture.